Are you wondering if you can wear the diastasis rehab splint or do the Tupler Technique program during your pregnancy? I'm Julie Tupler, creator of the Tupler Technique, and I have worked with pregnant moms for over 20 years, and yes, the program was created for pregnant women to prepare them for the marathon of labor. And by the way, this is a fake belly used for demonstration purposes only. Wearing a diastasis rehab splint is just one of the four steps of the program. So you need to do all four steps of the program to make your diastasis smaller during your pregnancy, which is so important to prevent a C-section, to help you push better in labor, and for a faster recovery. I recommend starting wearing the diastasis rehab splint in month three, after the nausea has started, because sometimes when you're bringing the muscles together and moving the organs back, you can get a little bit nauseous. So wait until the nausea subsides. Also, in the first three months, the major organs of your baby are being developed, so you want to wait until that's finished. And just in general, wait until you're feeling better, which is second trimester. People wonder, will wearing the splint or doing the exercises hurt my baby? No, because the purpose of the splint is just to bring the muscles and the connective tissue closer together. The uterus is very thick and the baby's surrounded by amniotic fluid. If you cannot wear a splint for some reason, then you can still do the exercises, but just use a scarf and pull the muscles closer together when you're doing the exercises. Because if you do the exercises without bringing the muscles together, then they move in the wrong direction. So you need to make sure that you get the right size for the splint. Okay? How do you measure? You measure, first of all, your back size. You want to measure the level, the, your back at the level right under your breast. So you go from one side seam to the other side seam because the pad needs to rest on the side. So you may be a small pad and then for the next measurement is the circumference of your body you're going to need longer arms okay most important is that the pad size fits you to accommodate for the growing belly we have what's called extenders and I'm going to show you how to put them on so that's the second measurement is the circumference of your body around your belly at the biggest part and then the, the third one is from the bottom of your sternum to your belly button. All right? This is to determine if you have a long torso, an average torso, or a short torso. During pregnancy with the bigger belly, though, sometimes women want to wear two splints for more coverage. So those are the three measurements. And now I'm going to show you how to put on the diastasis rehab splint. Okay? Here's the pad. The loop Velcro is on the outside. The label is always on the left side, on the one arm side. So I put this around my back, and you see it rests on my side. Okay, so how do I put it on? Okay, so I'm going to take the top arm and I'm going to bring it around like this, okay, and I have a mirror here that was a little bit too low so I wanted him to lift it up so because you always have to put the splint on in front of a mirror so that you see what you're doing. Okay, so I'm looking in the mirror here that's now at the perfect height. I bend my knees, I bring my belly to the spine and I move this over here, I move the muscle over, I hold it here, and then I turn to the side. But you see, I can't attach it because it's what? The arm is too short, so I need an extender. Just one, please, thank you. So on this extender, you see there's the loop Velcro, and it's on both sides. But you attach it 
the Velcro has to be facing down, so you attach it on that side. And you can, at you can attach it anywhere on here, but I want to make it shorter, okay? I want to make it shorter here, so I attach it right here. If I wanted to make it longer, then I would attach it further back. So I'm going to attach it right here. Okay. So now I'm going to gather it up here, bend my knees, belly button to the spine, I move the muscle over, I hold it here with the other hand, and then I'm able to now turn to the side and Velcro it on the side. Okay? Now remember, you don't want to do it, this sticky piece of Velcro called the hook doesn't want to go on top here because that's going to scratch you. So all that Velcro needs to be on the pad of the splint. If it's too low, it's going to interfere with this arm. Okay? So I pull this arm down so it's not in the way, and then I adjust this so it's even going across the top. Then I take the next arm, okay, and I hold my belly button to the spine, and my knees are bent, and then I move the muscle over, all right, and this one's going on a diagonal. And again, I'm too, sh I can't, I can't. So I'm going to need another extender. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that this Velcro is facing down, and then I'm going to attach it right here. Okay, so let's start again. I'm going to bend my knees, belly button to the spine, hold it there. This comes across, and then I'm going to attach it on top here. Okay, and then I'm going to move this down. Okay, I made sure to demonstrate with a beige splint and a black extender so that you could see where I was attaching it. We do have beige extenders though to go with the beige splints and black extenders to go with the black splints. And then the bottom one, I pull this one down. Okay, bend my knees, belly button to the spine. I'm moving the muscle to the middle. And I'm almost there, but not quite. So I need my last extender, okay? Make sure the Velcro was facing down. And then I attach it right up on the top, because I don't need that much. And then I attach it right here. So right there. So this is how you put on the diastasis rehab splint with the extenders. Hope this was helpful. Thanks.